What's going on guys? Y'all asked for it, we heard y'all, and we're finally gonna do it. We're gonna give away one of my personal favorite cars out of my personal collection. From today up until May 31st, every dollar that you spend at themurdernova.com gets you entered in the chance to win my 87 Buick Limited T-Type plus $10,000. What's happening guys? Uh, so, some are a bit confused about why you've seen our merch trailer in different parts of the country, but you haven't seen us. Well, the white trailer with our sticker on it that we've pulled for the last couple years with our merch in it, we don't own anymore. We sold it to Jeff Lutz. And uh, so it hasn't been us. But we still needed a merch trailer, so we bought a new one or bought new to us, but it was red. We didn't want it red. So uh, we called our friend Courtney over at CO2 Solutions and her and Mallory worked together to design a wrap for this thing. Well, we don't know how to lay wrap. We don't know anything about it, except that if we did it, it would be wrinkled and bubbled and it wouldn't look right. So. We called Wrapworks down here in Irving, Texas, said, hey, this is what we got, sent them the design. They said, that's pretty cool. We can definitely make it happen. So we brought it down here. Uh, me, Sean, Aaron, Mallory took a little field trip a couple days ago, and uh, we brought it down here, and we just expected to leave it, and they'd call us in about a week or so and let us, let us know that we'd come get it. Well, me and Sean were working on the uh, Regal yesterday, getting it ready to give it away to one of y'all, and... Uh, he called and said hey you can come pick this thing up whenever you're ready and i was like word so i was like all right headed down here this morning and uh it's time to get hooked up to this thing and get it back home and start filling it up with merch for uh, mpk season seven so uh i'm gonna go in here and write them a check because uh, i'm gonna write them i'm gonna write them a uh yeah probably just one but anyway they're they're the ones that's going to wrap the nova this year as well so you know once we uh, once we come down here and pick it up from them we'll let y'all see what we got in store for it and uh, hopefully you guys like it but uh you guys know the drill if you haven't already go ahead and click that subscribe button uh like this video comment on it uh you know comments help as much as anything as far as getting us in the algorithm and and uh making sure plenty of people see this video uh also uh, for those of you that may not know, we are giving away one of Sean's collection, his 1987 uh, Buick Regal Limited T-Type. Uh, it's one of uh, 1,035 ever made. This thing is super sick. Uh, and from right now until May 31st, every dollar that you spend at www.themurdernova.com gets you entered to win this thing. Uh, all the rules and everything are available on the website. You can check it out and uh, get entered to win this thing. Gloomy day down here in the DF dub, but there it is. Turned out pretty sick. Designed by Courtney at CO2 Solutions, wrapped by Wrapworks down here in Irving, Texas. Pretty cool. So we got 187 on this side. We have the map of the United States of America. And of course, all of our socials here on the back. So that's uh, that's where we are on the trailer. I'm gonna head back north with this thing. Start filling it up with merch for uh, MPK season seven. Let us know what you think of it, and uh, we'll show you what's next with the Nova. And we hope you all like it. What's going on, guys? Uh, down here in DFW once again. Last week went. Okay, so we tested in steel, right? You seen the video there? We went really quick. Um, put the new Pro Charger Bell on, and it required a larger opening than uh, what we were equipped to do in the pits. We cut it as big as we could. 
but it, uh, it needed to work to be better. So we sent it with Fireball Camaro over to RK Racecraft and uh, they cut the new hole in it, made it look nicer than, than what we would have. And then I uh, hauled ass from Cartersville, Georgia, where RK is, down here to Irving, Texas, where uh, Rapworks is. Uh, the people who uh, wrapped our merch trailer earlier in this video that you've seen. Um, we told you guys that we were wrapping this thing this year to try to save some weight. What we did not tell you was we changed the color. Um, I'm sure... I'm sure that uh, you guys know what it is. Uh, we finally did it. Uh, I didn't believe that Sean would allow it to be done. I thought he was just all talk. And then earlier this year, he said, let's do it. I said, man, you're gonna paint it? He said, no, no. No, I'm not gonna paint it. He, he doesn't know if, it, uh, if this is a permanent thing. So, it's done. They called me last night said it's done I said well hell yeah I'll send me some pictures so they sent me some pictures and I think it's sick so uh, Sean hasn't seen it yet though I, I didn't show him pictures uh, I think he's kind of mad at me because I did not show him pictures but uh, I'm down here I'm about to load this thing up and uh, you know once we get it outside here before I put it in the trailer I'll show you guys and then I'm gonna take it home and uh, let Sean see it for the first time and, and see if it's everything he thought it would be, or if we're going to be peeling, if we're going to be peeling this thing off uh, before we hit Maple Grove. So it's it's Sunday right now, like two days before we leave to go to Maple Grove. Um, mad thrash. Um, we have we have some stuff to do with Ramjack tomorrow. Um, I won't make it anything more than it is we're going golfing with our buddies at ramjack tomorrow but then the next day sean has to get up and give a speech um for all of the ramjack employees so we got to do that and then we got to hit the road for 20 plus hours up to moton or i don't, I don't know how you say it maple grove and then uh, we're going to get this mpk season underway so i am about to pull into the parking lot i'll turn this thing back on when we get the car outside and let you guys see what you think so Mike and the guys here at Rapworks pretty much performed a miracle for us. Uh, we were supposed to have this thing here Monday of this week, and that didn't happen. And uh, wasn't able to deliver this thing to him until Thursday. And here it is Sunday, and I'm picking this thing up to take it home so that we can come see y'all in Maple Grove. But here it is, white. I have a feeling it's gonna be a uh, you either love it or you hate it. And there's not gonna be much in between on this deal. So let us know what y'all think. Man, I, I think it looks killer. I'll be honest, I don't care what y'all think. <laughs> Turned out awesome. Oh, I forgot, we gotta put a headlight in it. It blew out on the last pass that we were testing. So, like I said, we've been talking about it for years, and uh, earlier this year, he finally, Sean finally pulled the trigger and said, let's do it. So, here we go. So, get this thing put in the trailer. Like I said, he hadn't seen it yet. So, uh, get this thing home and, and get his reaction and see what he says. All right, just pulled back up here to the shop here at uh, 187 Customs, and they've got the stacker pulled forward and ready, spot cleared out, swing so unload this thing, get it loaded in there real quick because we're, uh, we're pretty slammed for time. So I am going to go back here, drop the door and let Sean see this thing for the first time. All right, I know you said you wanted this thing white, but I had him do something different. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> so How white is it though? Like Colombian. <laughs> Well, that, I, mean, I mean, are you ready for this? I don't know. That's, that's the thing. Is I wanted this car white. I've at least wanted to try it white for a long time. Yeah. I've seen white Novas all the time. And Man, you remember that one that Kevin Rivenbark drove at MPK that one year? Yes. Yes, that thing was sexy. <laughs> yeah, it was. So, I've wanted it white forever. And, and now that it's white, 
you know, of course, we would never do the OG white. Yeah. This is the MPK car. It's a little bit different. Uh, it's... This one's, uh, it's a tool. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, another, another tool in the I mean, toolbox. that thing right there will always be flat. Yep. Oh, man. Except for that one time we accidentally painted it shiny. It, it was, <laughs> that was the worst day of my life. <laughs> um, I like it. Yeah? I, I, it's, it's pretty cool, man. Like, All right, let's, let's... The only thing it's missing is a black see. vinyl top. <sighs> yeah. Well, I mean, the top is black. I mean... You ain't make, wrong. Probably make that you happen. ain't wrong. Dad, come and look at this. I mean white, son. And it is white. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey. Definitely watch the front end when it comes out. Okay, come on. We need to lift up on it? Probably. Oh my gosh, look at his nose. It's a big nose. <laughs> it's very bulbous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's big. White MPK Murder Nova. And it is white. White, white. Boy, it's, it's, it's just so much different. Yeah. It's a lot to take in. That's what she it's said. So different. It's a, no, it's a big change. It, it's not subtle. It is a big change. Yeah. I like it, but I also like the black. Yeah. Huh? Mrs. Murder Nova is not sold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's going to look. There's going to be people that just absolutely hate it. Oh, yeah. Uh, people hated the, the Ram Jack. Yeah. It's part of it. Yep. Hey, it was time for a change. Change it up a little bit. Yeah. Hey, we don't go out and dominate at that first race. Yeah. Why would we get pulled off? <laughs> yep. I mean. When we win a race. We stack, a, stack three or four MPK trophies up along here. It'll be all right. Yeah, you won't even notice that it used to be black. No. Nope. <laughs> Everything's fine. I'm gonna look on the side over here that has the door on it. They did a good job. I no. mean, for, for a wrap, it looks good. No, the, the that, guys. That is not gonna be happy with the front end. Yeah. It's pretty wavy. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so, so just to put it in, I, you know, I talked about it a little bit earlier in the video. To put it into perspective, I dropped this thing off to them at like 10 o'clock Thursday morning, yeah. and I picked it up at 10 o'clock this morning yeah. which is sunday. sunday so the the guys at rap works man they they did everything we could have asked of them so they're the same ones that did our trailer obviously You've seen us go pick it up <clears throat> yeah the uh i need to see it outside and of course we got the black wheels on the back right now yeah it'll pop more with the red wheels uh, against this white uh but the Ram on the Ram Jack, it, it, it needs really to be brighter. needs to be brighter, more vibrant, more in your face, the same color as the wheels. Yep. Uh, but at the end of the day, like you said just a minute ago, this car is a tool. Yeah. We love it. It's one of our favorite tools it's in the box. It's a fast tool. <laughs> you know, so. Uh, I reach for this one a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, when in doubt, this is the tool that we reach for. Yeah. Uh, that glass. We it's have coming. It. Okay. Yep. So then I'm gonna continue to worry about what I worry about, and that's letting off the button. That's that's all you need you to do. You guys take care of everything else. Yep, that's you do you, we'll do us. It is different. Man, I, I love it. Like it uh I, I think it's cool as hell. Another thing that is different is that big ass hole in the front end. <laughs> I, I Man There's not a whole lot you can do to disguise that big hole. It's yeah. a lot. It's a five gallon bucket, dog. Dude, that front the, the the, the big ass opening in the front is awesome, man. It's killer. This thing better go 204. <sighs> well, it went fast enough that the 200 mile an hour uh, yeah. headlight assembly that we had in there didn't hold. You know, we said uh, the past before that that was 200 mile an hour glue. We literally talked about it the past before. But it hadn't gone 200 yet. 200 mile an hour glue right here. And then it, when it actually went 200 mile an hour, it knocked it out. <laughs> Billy was watching the video on his flight. 
I was making fun of him. I said, oh, the private jet got that good Wi-Fi, so you can watch YouTube, huh? Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, what's this? And there's a picture of something, and you could see the light. When you threw the chutes, the light came out when you threw the chutes. Oh, really? Yep. So, 200 mile an hour. Yep. As soon as we hit 201, <laughs> that was it. it. Was done. That was it. 200 and point zero one, <laughs> that light came out. Yep. But we're about to put it back in right now. The uh, the volutes a lot. It um, our RK I was very disappointed in you for doing it. That that you let someone talk you into it. Hey, what did we say? <laughs> whatever it takes to go we fast. Said whatever we take to go fast. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to do. Yep. Uh, we said last season, whenever we made all the changes to the car, we're in it to win. Yep. Uh, of course, it never translated over to a win last season. Uh, but it translated over to our best season ever. It translated over I mean, we got a couple great, great consistent, eight wins. A couple great eight wins, uh, runner up in the invitational, yep. and top five. It's pretty good, man, from where overall. we came. Pretty so, good. But to think that we're going to go slower this season, that would be a mistake. Yeah, you would you would be on the not right side of the spectrum. Yes. Uh, front end is ugly, but and we've never said this before, and we're probably never going to say it again. Hopefully, the pecker extender will cover up a little bit of the ugliness. It's the first time the pecker extender is going to do anything good. It's, it's the first time. <laughs> but, you know, besides trip the beam, hasn't been the ugliest thing on the front end of the car. <laughs> yep. Everyone in the race though is going to see this. I hope so. Yep. That's the plan. We need to sell a sponsor <laughs> spot on that volute. <laughs> same, Dude, same. I mean, sitting in this car, it's even going to be different. It's hopefully it's cooler. Out of the car, yeah, it should be cooler. Show me how you were blinded. <laughs> Put your hands up then. Oh, I just slide in here like an old glove. Yep. You feel like you're in a new car? Can we fix this? Oh yeah, that's still a thing. This I, is still, this is, I, I know I got a you. couple of times. I got you. <laughs> but every time I got out of the car, you told me what it ran. Yeah. And I never thought about this thing again. Yep. If, if I tell you what it ran, do I have to fix it now? <laughs> It's uh, it's violent off the button. I it looks remember, like it. I don't remember any times ever in testing where I had to and then let go of the button. So even like, okay, so you can see you do that in the video and you can still see like your head still pushes yeah. back. Well, I mean, that's because that padding, it still goes back. Yeah, it's crazy looking. Yeah. Now, I really can't even tell that the car's white from inside here. So we're gonna be all right. I'm gonna be able to tell as soon as I let go of the button though. And it oh, comes yeah. up like this right here and I'm. Yup. Here we go, man. I mean, it's time, man. We gotta obviously fix the front end, put a new light in it, load this thing up. Gonna, and we, Me and dad's gonna do that right now. That's why I got Rick here. It, he didn't want you to mess it up again. the first time, I probably wouldn't have messed them all up. No. No, cause he'd have done it. Because. <laughs> Because I would have allowed him to do it. Just like if Monkey was here, I'd have allowed Monkey to do it. Yep. And then I, I wouldn't have, it probably wouldn't have came out. I know I made them a little bit bigger than what they probably should have been. Yeah. Because it's in, what was that? The door. In the the Mustang front ends. Yeah. It's a Nova, Nova front ends. It. They're flat and then it's, it's, it's kicked back a little bit. And so they don't fit in there great. Yes. So you got to kind of make it work. I'm ready to let go of the button, man. Yep, it's time. What, five days? Uh, we don't even really know what we're doing, to be honest with you. Like, us? As far as... Or as like... We don't know what No Prep Kings is going to be about. Oh, sure. yeah. There's no teams, that's 16, for sure. We don't know if it's a 16 car field. We don't know if it's a 32 car field. We don't really know anything. I mean, hell, with all the people I've seen dropping out, it may and be only a 16. I heard that there's a lot of people not showing up, but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to go ahead and say this. I would love for it to be a 16 car field. It would make the days go by quicker. It'd make the days go by quicker. It would allow us to spend more time with the fans. It would, uh, the racing would be way tighter. Oh, like, for it sure. It was tight last season, but could you imagine getting rid of- 16 cars? 16 of the cars. Yeah. Cause the 16 is only gonna be the people who are for real, for real. Yeah. The, the, the baddest of the bad. Which, you know, includes this bad mofo. So we have a uh, big group text with everybody in it. 
and I've listened to everybody all winter talk about who's going to race for what. Because, you know, when Swanstrom's in a group, that's all he wants to do is talk about how much money you're going to race for every time you line up. <laughs> um, yep. So they all had it, and I never mentioned anything. I, I, I stay more quiet in that group, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, I get in there, I talk a little bit of shit every once in a while, but not like everybody else. Like, I've never said, I'll race any of you, you know? And then today, Ryan tells them, I got 500 bucks anytime anybody lines up against Sean. And fifteen hundred bucks that he's ahead of you guys when the season ends. Man, that's pretty and cool. I was like, oh man. And then somebody, I can't remember who it was, said, Well, we should just do you and Ryan, you and Sean versus me, or whoever said it. Kai said it or Swanstrom said it. So it would be me and Ryan versus Kai and Swanstrom. And so Ryan said, I'm not gonna speak for Sean, but we'll let him get in here. I said, I'm in. Whatever it is, I'm in. Like you going to put me and Ryan on a team against Kai and Swanstrom? I'll take that bet. Yeah, All for sure. Long. For sure. Because um, chances are. I'm telling you right now, man, we didn't get any slower. Nope. And I'm willing to bet Kai stayed around the same. They didn't change nothing. They didn't change nothing. And he hasn't. He tested once over the winter. Did he? Yeah. I just thought he'd been racing his small tire car, which is cool as hell in itself. But Absolutely. Because, I mean, you know. Did he win any races like we did with that thing? He did. He did? He won two. Oh, he did. He, he did. did. I remember. Yeah. So, And he even said, man, you need to come with me and we need to go. And, and uh, He don't want them problems. His car's fast too, man. <laughs> I know. I mean, you know, got that big-ass mountain motor in that. Deal. It ought to be fast. That thing, know, thing ought to run 450s we, we on motor. We just got motor. that little Hemi. Yeah, just a little <laughs> Hemi. Just the middle of the mall yeah. Hemi stuff. All right. I'm going to get the front end off. And, uh, oh. All right, trying to put this bad mofo in this box. Hopefully we get to take this box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, man, I'll tell you something that you guys watching this video don't really, or you, you may take for granted. Man, a good, a good strap is worth a lot. Um, I feel like anybody who has hauled cars at all will, will know that. So we like we like these max. Yes. Uh yes, these are the front. So we, we like max tie downs. Uh they're just a good heavy duty strap. And and they, they have a lot of cool configurations that you can order right off their website. Yes. So um like if you notice we have two different ones. Yes. Uh, I, and and the reason that we do this is because in the street trailer a long time ago, there's not a whole lot of room. Yep. And our wheelie bars are so long that we have to pull the car really far forward. Well, so that configuration, this would not work. No, nope. because that, that ends up under the car. Your ratchet underneath the front spoiler of the car, and the car bounces and stuff. Not anymore because we but got the car used to bounce. Yep, uh, and it would hit these and it tear the whole front end up. So we ended up getting stuff like this right here that has no strap we actually you actually made your own at one point before we even realized that this was a thing i did and they weren't great no they were the ones that i made did not have this swivel right here uh i basically took something like this right here and it was a mac uh -huh. but i took this right here i took this right here off and then see that bolt right there i put my own on and all i did was took a hook and then went through well that ended up getting into the ratcheting mechanism. It's just a mess, man. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Well, then come to find out they make exactly <laughs> what I needed. Yep. So. Sean's something like an innovator. Yes. Yes. So. Oh, we're going to need some uh, right, uh, axle straps for back here. Yes. These right here go to the, the, the rear. The rear. The yep. regular ones. So, and we got red this year because, you know, red's just cool. <laughs> and plus, it'll help keep them more organized because what usually happens is we put all our nice straps in one trailer. And then we take them out because we needed straps in another trailer. Also, something else that we started running. Sean, you, you just talked about it bouncing. Ago. Oh, yeah, the car bouncing. Yeah. Two seasons ago, we had, uh, if, if anybody pays six, $7,000 for shocks, then you realize whenever you get to the track that one of them is blowed out or it is not happy. Or maybe you don't realize it, and then Steve... And then Steve yells at you <laughs> and says that they're junk. Yeah. And it's, it's a big problem in the front end of the car. 
if you leave the line, and yes, we have wheelie bars, but the front end still comes up. Yep. Especially on, you know, no prep surface. Yep. Ish. Ish. No prep ish. Something that you can only go 950 to the 60 foot. Yeah. <laughs> With a turbo car. No prep. Yeah. So you let go of the button, front end comes up, this side right here drops out as soon as you let go of the button, it's gonna turn the car. I don't care and, what you do, I don't care what anybody says, it turns the car. The car does not drive straight. Well, and you're not going to notice it with it, you know, with your turbo car, you don't really notice it because it, the front end comes up, like they're both up, right? Mm -hmm. Well, this one that's broke, it drops out faster. So when it touches before this one over here does, it drags the car away. Yep. So, we did run into that problem. What the It was in Florida whenever first we first against Kai. Season that we started in PK, right? I can't remember if it was the first or second no, we season. Lose to Kai. We lost to, uh, no, we lost to Kai in Florida. I watched it the other night on I TV. We lost to, uh, what's the guy who had the orange vet? Cavill Hall. Hall. No, we, we lost to Kai in. We beat Cavill Hall, didn't we? Yep. And it was, that's when we realized it was messed up. Yeah. And then we lost to Kai. Yep. Yes. Not saying that that's why we lost to Kai. But we you had, were out on him. We had many, we were out <laughs> on him. We had many of, uh, situations where the car didn't go straight. Anyways, with that being said, when you pay that much for shocks, it doesn't even matter what you pay for it. Take what you paid for it out of the equation. Yep. You go to the track, the car doesn't work right because your shocks are messed up. Yep. It doesn't matter what kind of shocks you have. Yep. Um, so now, ever since then, like literally we do not go anywhere without putting bladders underneath the car. Nowhere. Street trailer, uh, stacker, and, and a lot of people swear up and down, well, your stacker's on air. You don't, don't matter. Need that. The, our car was in a stacker our when car it was happened. In a stacker whenever it happened. Uh, I do know, and this is just off the top of my head. Dave doesn't use them. That's, I don't. And, and we can't get crazy. away with it. A lot of people I, don't, I don't use them. I, I, don't, I don't get it. Anyways, man, that lift gate's crooked. Nice. So we started using them, and we've used them now. And, and we even use them. We go to the extent because we feel sometimes we feel like we have to work harder than anybody else it to get seemed, the same outcome. It seems that way. Maybe it's because we're stupid. Maybe it's because we're morons. It, you know. Um, Let's go with that. Which it could be. Yeah. So anyways, we go as far to, if, if you talk to people who know, you only need one of these in the back. On the number one bar. On the number one bar. Basically the where the four link attaches to yes. the chassis. The, the middle crossbar that goes underneath, uh, that's where a lot of people put them. Yep. We put one there. We also put one underneath the front chassis. And here's, here's what they are. This is what they look like. They call it a stabilizer. We call it a bladder. Yeah, that's what they call it. It's a, it's a chassis stabilizer. Yeah, I call it a bladder. Yeah. Okay, so basically all you do is you air it up. I it, I lift the car up about half an inch, sometimes three quarters of an inch. Basically, as soon as you see the car start moving up, you yeah. can stop. You lock it down, and that's it. We put these in the container whenever we sent the OG to yep. Australia. And when we got to Australia, psh, yep. we let air out of it. We weren't real sure what was going to happen with uh, the that different heat cycles going across the ocean. Yeah, we don't really hot and cold. Yeah. And we would assume that it got really hot and then it would get really cold. Yep. So we, we even thought as far to, we should put nitrogen in them. You <laughs> <Yeah. know? laughs> and, 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 and all that stuff ran through. No, our hey, and, and, and our guy, Jerry from Air Gas, had nitrogen waiting on me there yeah. when we got there. I just yeah. didn't use it. Well, <laughs> come to find out, we just put air in them. Yep. And when we got there, I'm not saying that it was fully inflated the whole trip, but they were, but, but they were, they were fully inflated yep. when they got there. And the shocks so, are still good on that car. Still good on the car. So, uh, if this little stuff like this is what we have to do to keep our shocks in good working order, which we haven't had a shock problem, which nope. I'm not, I'm, I'm going to stop that. Our shocks seem to work fine when we get to where we're going. Yep. And it's because we run these. Well, and we, we sent them in for inspection over the winter and Chris Bell gave us the so no good bill of health yeah so so anyways so so anyone that's interested in these uh tim mccamus actually has a really cool video on how to how to use them does he, really? he does that's pretty cool i'm pretty sure he's the one that i saw that says you only need one back there yep which i'm sure that's really all you need but when you have problems the way that we did we go through extra measures you take that extra step to try to keep things from breaking so I'm gonna reach underneath here real quick. I'm gonna hook these up. Okay. And then we'll go up there and we'll strap the car.
that's that. Loaded and ready to go. Well, loaded. Yeah. I don't know about ready to go. But loaded. We've got, we're all right. Yeah. 